Hello, this is Tomasz Szarczyński speaking. Welcome back to the third part of modeling of Haran. This is tutorial for Touch Plus. As you can see on speed up video, I'm just moving uh, UV islands to the Udim patches. So we'll have this great UV uh, setup for painting in Marie. So now we can mirror our character. So to do that, go to front view. And we can mirror across the x axis. So press F2 to bring up model tools. And activate mirror. It is Shift V if you want a shortcut. And click on the screen. Now uh, remember to set it correctly. And drag this tool properties. And make sure the center is zero out on every point and change axis to X and make sure the in mirror clone effect merge vertices option is still on and now you can drop the tool okay now we got mirrored character and we one we have one big problem because as you can see I'm selecting polygons of both hands and they are overlapping in UV space and this is not what we wanted, because we want to give each side of character a different uh, map. If we would like to have a character that is symmetrical and the bitmap uh, on it is symmetrical, we will it it would be uh, an end, and the character would be ready. But we want to uh, give this character different uh, maps on different sides, so he can have different tattoo on left arm on right he can uh, have scars so let me show you how to do that and later on we will be mirroring uh, textures in Mari so now we need to select him in a special way so when we selecting this part of uh, this hand you can see we selected only few patches okay and we just select this patches all right and we can do it a different way so select all patches in uv window and now deselect half of the character in 3d viewport as you can see we got only one side selected and now move it this all patches for one unit on U space. Okay, now activate transform tool scale and give it a minus 100 scale, and we get mirrored UV patches. Okay, let's see. Let's do it the same for the leg and ears. So select all this in UV space. Okay, deselect half of it in 3D viewport and now move those all patches together for the one unit on U axis okay activate scale tool and set minus 100% scale on U axis and now we got perfectly mirrored uh, polygons so as you can see I can select one side and I can select second side and that's what we wanted to achieve because now we can paint on different sides separately okay and this way our character will not be mirrored uh, the textures on this character will not be mirrored so we can have different type of paintings uh, on each side of character now let's do the body as you can see now they are occupying the same space in UV viewport and we need to fix this. So select those and deselect one half and we can move it, but there is a catch. They are merged together so it will stretch. Now select both and we can reproject this. It will be quicker. So go to project from view, unwrap tool and click on the screen. As you can see, we now got something stretching 
and distorting, we can change this projection to planar, and now we can move it to the other patch, to the other UDIM. So go to UV Relax, press, and now we've got nice set for torso, and the same goes for the back of our character. So press Unwrap tool, set to planar, 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 and now move this away. Click UV Relax, set like so, and now let's do the, the small part of the bottom. Okay, so select all these parts, go to Unwrap tool, click on the screen, now model will unwrap it again, press UV Relax. And not much changed, but we can now move this to the second UDIM. And now we can deal with the head. So move it away for now. And we can just select those three islands, like double click, and go to pack UVs. Okay. With, the, with this three island selected, a turn off stretch. Remember to turn off stretch and press OK. Now model will fit this into in this first student patch. OK, we can just scale this down and move this around. OK, and we can just think where I can place this. OK. I know it's a bottom, but it will be so in the upper part. So now select everything, press fit UVs, make sure the keep proportion is on, and we can just move this parts around. Remember that all those small patches should uh, B uh, in first UDIM uh, square and they cannot overlapping of this uh, square so they should be contained in this first uh, UDIM patch or second uh, because Mari won't allow the uh, UV patch to be part of uh, two different UDIMs okay and now we can just move points around and now select those all UV islands, activate move tool and we want to move them to the different to the different union patch. So we can activate move tool and make sure you are moving them by uh, it by whole numbers like 1 or 2 on U or V axis. So select those face related parts. Okay, you can deal with the back of the head. So unwrap to again, press on the screen, and we got something strange, but we can now press UV relax and see how model will deal with this? Okay, we got something strange going on. And go to UV Relax. And now, model have made it quite nice UV Island. So rotate this by 100 degrees, 108 degrees. And as you can see, we got very nice distribution of this rainbow bitmap. We can just scale this down. And we can just tweak this, this position of vertex to have more squarey uh, polygons that they will look more like a square. So just press T on the keyboard 
and use element move that is a very powerful tool and i think we are done with tweaking position of vertices okay and we can move this for one unit on u axis okay now we can place it over there and now let's do the face okay we can go to unwrap tool again click on the screen and now model will unwrap this face but i don't think it is quite nice so i speed up the video while i'll be changing shape of this nice so we need to make some adjustments so now select vertices and move them to the position as you can see i i'm turn on i have turned on uh, this uh, mirror option for uv space and i can just move points of one side and these mo uh, movements will be mirrored to the other As you can see, I need to make this part of face a little bit bigger. And now relax tool. Okay. And as you can see, we are left with mouth. And its, it's shape is quite odd, so we need to improve this. Now move this face to the, this area. And now we need to move this part of the head, the side of the head, okay, scale this up, as you relax. Unfortunately, this part get distorted, so we need to move, make UV relaxing once more, okay, it is still quite bad so we need to press ctrl z twice and turn and set lock boundary okay and now press uv relax to work and it is again something messy so turn off uv relax and this probably is because we are we having overlapping polygons left side is occupying the same space in uv space than right side so we need to mirror this like we did with hands and legs. So place this part of the head just like so. Okay, and scale this. And now we can turn element move, pressing T, move vertices and edges to have nice polygon distribution. Okay, so we just tweak a little bit those edges okay and now we can move this point this point here this point here this point here okay and now i believe we are almost ready and mirror this face like we did before so as you can see now we've got perfectly UV character with no distortion of bitmaps around here okay as you can see now we've got everything in the place to work in marie we can go to subdivision mode to see if we got any issues there and as you can see the texture is well distributed along across this character and it is very uh, important that uh, the relative size of this rainbow pattern is uh, the same throughout whole body of character. We won't have a re resolution clash when we paint this in marine. So now we can go and see UV distortion. To do that, go to lists, other maps, UV distortion. And now We 
can change to be able to see this UV distortion map you have to change uh, view type to vertex map and now you can see we got very nice 3d representation of distortion of this uh, of polygons throughout our character so the ones that are blue ones they are too big the red ones are too small and green are the best so uh, it's not that important but you can see how model can help you uh, to find any potential problems in character so as you remember we did manual uh, vertex tweaking so that's why some of the parts of the maps are marked with red color or blue one so um, keep this in mind okay now with this perfect uv setup ready we can go uh, to add some details to character and then export this and sculpt and that's it for this part of the tutorial join me next time we'll, when we'll be sculpting this character and we add some teeth and some jewelry to our character and see you next time